Is this Nike's new trendy sneaker? I don't know, but when I talk to all the retailers, people are buying them. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and breakdown on these bad boys right here. This is this the Nike P6000? Sounds kind of cool. It sounds like a uh, Terminator sh you know what I mean? Well, I guess the P's not cool. Why? What's your problem with P? I don't know. I'm a guy, so you say P and I start laughing. <laughs> so you're five. I said I'm a guy. <laughs> you see my shirt? <laughs> yes. Like, how mature am I? Okay, really. Do you see what I do for a living? Like this, come on. Do you see the room you're sitting I know. You, well, I mean, you don't, but like I did show it. What video was that? What video was it? Was that the, the GT oh, Cut 3s? Yeah. You were embarrassed. Well, I, okay, let me, because people were just like, don't be embarrassed of yourself, bro. I'm like, no, tr trust me, I'm not, okay? Like I walk around like this all day. It's fine. You know what I mean? Like, it's all good. He um, married me. What's that supposed to mean? I may not be nerdy, but I'm nerdy enough. Like you, you consider yourself a dork? Yeah, I'm not cool. I, and that's okay. If we turn, I'm cool. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I throw shade the hill. Anyways, clarify for yourself. Yeah, so what I was saying was is that that a performance review was not typically the type of video that I would slide in. That's all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that'd be like a video of like some jock being like, you know, and all that stuff. And then at the very end, he's like, hey, look at my toys. Anywho, <laughs> are you laughing? What's so funny? Because you <laughs> hit me in the funny bone. Because you threw shade. <laughs> At myself. No, you said, you said, I'm not cool. And I'm like, I'm cool. <laughs> then, then, just, then, you, then you're you laughing. just say, I'm cool, you're not really cool. <laughs> I don't walk around saying it. I don't have a shirt that says, I'm cool, guys. Like, trust me, bro. Like, I don't do that. I'm just, I think that I'm fine. Okay? That's all. I'm not embarrassed of myself. Okay. You're, you're making me reconsider. <laughs> I'll give you that. Okay. Okay, we gotta get to work. Aye, aye, Captain! So the Nike P6000 is a brand new shoe, even though it's technically not. It's supposed to be a brand new low budget offering, or people don't like when I say that. I'm not trying to be insensitive, I'm just being real. They're a hundred bucks, it's affordable. You don't say. And for what they offer, which is a whole lot of nothing, they're actually pretty cool. The P6000 is in reference to the Pegasus 2006, to which when you go onto Nike's website or their app and you search up the shoe P6000, you read their description, it says that they took light inspiration from the Nike Pegasus 2006. But then when I looked at the shoe side by side, I was like, you guys didn't really take light inspiration from them. You took all inspiration from them. It's a copy and paste minus maybe a two things, one of which being the tech. Weird. You'd think that they would just have re-released the Pegasus 2006 and instead of this, but I don't know. Anyways, the outsole. I don't remember what the Pegasus 2006 outsole looks like, so I can't tell you if this is copy and paste it. All I know is that this is pretty standard for running as far as overall shoe and models are concerned. So we've got the lugs there, the waffle inspired pattern, if you will. So it's pointing to Nike's heritage a little bit. All of these white cutouts that you see are flex zones. And on top of that, underneath that, or in between that, that's the EVA foam, what Nike calls Phylon, unless you look at this little black strip right here and it says ride liner. But having all of those cutouts does a few different things. One, it reduces weight greatly. Two, it allows the shoe to be more flexible and on top of that it allows the foam to expand and move as you maneuver and things like that so even though there's technically no real technology in the shoe as far as cushioning is concerned they're still pretty comfortable the midsole seems like it's kind of like lowered compared to the original but the overall sculpt and design does look very similar if not the same but either way it's nike's phylon it's just a lightweight foam that's all they describe it as there's no zoom air in the shoe there's no air soles in the shoe so technically it's a cushionless shoe but like i was saying for all of that being said, they're not uncomfortable. They're actually really comfortable. So if you're looking for something that is under budget or doesn't break the bank or doesn't hurt your wallet, but you don't also want to sacrifice cushion and things like that, this is a good solid cop right here, I think, depending on the colorway, obviously. Now, as far as the upper is concerned, uh, very much like the outsole, I don't remember what the Pegasus 2006 was made out of. At the time, that was a performance runner, so I'm assuming that it would have been made with a mixture of textiles and synthetics. I could be wrong, though, so for all I know, that was made just like these guys, which does happen to be textiles and leathers. The leathers are not premium leathers whatsoever. It's actually that particle board style of leather. So it's like a composite. It looks like just a bunch of little scraps mixed together and compacted and glued and then coated with polyurethane for different looks and sheens. But it's all actual leather, which is interesting. So whether you're looking at these like silver stripes or the white panels or the gray panels, it's leather. Wow. 
Now the textiles that are all over the place is the main layer, the base layer. And I think that's a good move. It's gonna be breathable, it's gonna be lightweight. Again, keeps everything flexible. So you see all of these stripes or whatever that's all down there, that's all flex. So like if you're walking in the shoe and stuff like that's gonna move with you and not against you. The tongue is simple. It's just the base layer, it's all mesh. Again, very comfortable. Now the insole is a piece of but it is also removable. So if you wanted to take that out and swap it out for anything that you wanted, feel free. You don't have to, they're very comfortable as is. The sculpting and all of that stuff, there's an actual like a mini shank plate in there. And you know, it's not a bad sneaker for what you're paying for. And if they happen to go on discount, that's a better cop altogether. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, I'd go true to size. That's what I did. I think that they fit perfect. I can find these pretty much at every retailer. So just use Google if you're interested. We will have links down below in the description box as we normally do, but they're everywhere. I grabbed this particular pair from Dick's sporting goods, but this is not a plug or a promo or anything. It's just where I got this one. I'm sure that if you just search the shoe, you'll see in the shopping tab on Google where all the different looks and variations are. But with all that being said, uh, do we happen to have a question of the day? Yes. This one I think was inspired by our Spider-Man question. Okay. Would you let a vampire turn you? Mm. And if so, what age would you want to stay at when you are reborn? I mean, that does go into another question that you asked though about the whole immortal thing. Yeah. So there's two questions. Do, do you let them? And if you do let them... What age would you want to be at forever? And if you say no, like are they letting you live or are they sucking your blood? Yeah, you're just... You're dead? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so yes, uh, I would choose life over death. But I also don't think that it would be too bad. I mean, Blade's awesome. Granted, he's half vampire. He's the daywalker. So I guess you wouldn't be that. That would suck, actually. Like, you can't go out during the day ever. Like, how would you play basketball? You'd be really glittery. Oh, that's right. There's different kinds of vampires. What kind of vampire am I? I don't know. Well, I mean, am I glittery or am I, like, gonna <laughs> burst into flames? Can I choose? No. Maybe then you have to choose maybe one. Maybe it depends on which vampire bites you. So there's different races of vampires? <laughs> I don't know. This is crazy. I hope I get bit by a by a sparkly one because I need to go out during the daytime. Otherwise, I get depressed and lonely. I mean, yes, I could play basketball indoors only, but I like playing outside. So yeah, yeah, I'd let it bite me and turn me. And then my age, I would be, I would want to be in my really early 30s or late 20s, mm -hmm. which I'm too late for that. So if you're going to bite me now, just kill me. Well, like, no, that would because suck. then it would, vampires are like peak Except for there's the ones that get really old and they look like they're decaying. So I guess, again, it depends on... I've never seen that. In the ones with the werewolves, wasn't there like a really gross vampire? Are you talking about Underworld? Yes. Like with lichens? Yeah. Ah, but how do we know that he wasn't just bit? Or he was the king vampire. That I know. So maybe he is, he does grow old, but the people that he bites doesn't. But in my brain, vampires are supposed to be like peak physical. Like, yeah, I know. You're practically a superhero. That's yeah. why I'm saying like, it wouldn't be all bad depending on your mental state. But in this parameters that this person gave us, it seems like you get to choose which age. I think that there's a time frame in which a vampire wants to eat your blood anyways, because old people don't got much left. It's thin, they move to Florida, they, they need heat to like keep that blood flowing, like they're no good. So like I think that whether you're a teenager all the way to like, like I said, like early 30s, I think that's the prime in which like you'll most likely be sucked. Don't flag me YouTube, okay? We're not talking about other <laughs> That's what I would want to, like, l not the gray hair me, the one just before that, but still beard me, because beard me is better me than the other me. It's like, beard me is like, that's the cool me, you know? Beardless me is not cool, okay? Beardless me looks weird. Beard is makeup for men, and I stand by that. What would you choose? I would do it if you were doing it with me, because I wouldn't want to be alone forever. Like, I would want to have a partner through okay. it all. That makes sense. And then... I guess I'm a little more selfish. <laughs> I'd just be like, sure. And then I would pick... So when I turned 29, my dad gave me this beautiful card where he's just like, ah, oh, happy birthday. You're hitting the age that people look back on and wish they could be forever. And that's always stuck with me. And looking back now, I would pick 29 me, because I feel like that was peak Jody hotness. And I was like in good physical condition. I feel like I'm in decent physical condition for my age now, but like 29 me was better. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the physicality part plays into it because like I said, you get turned into a superhero practically. Mm -hmm. So like you're now invulnerable. I'm just saying, if I, could, if I could flip through a book of me real quickly, I would pick 29. What would really suck is we couldn't have garlic anymore. I love garlic, unless that's a myth. Maybe there's like a pill we can take like lactose people, but it's garlic people. But yeah, that'd be interesting though. Could I fly? When you turn into a bat. That's a thing? 
<laughs> Again, it depends on what kind of vampires we're choosing. I wouldn't want to turn into a bat. The Lost Boys can fly. The Lost Boys is so good. It's so good. I love that movie so much. But yeah, like Hotel Transylvania, yeah, Dracula that's a, turns uh, into I'm, a vampire. I'm having like a weird like Rolodex moment where I'm like filtering through because now the most recent vampire thing that we saw was with Nick Cage oh, and yeah. that dude from Warm Bodies. Mm -hmm. It is starts that, with an R. But that guy was cool though. He was a superhero. Well, kind of. You could kill bad guys and not feel bad about it. I don't remember. Was he an actual vampire? He was just a servant for... He eventually... Because that's how... He would drink something and that's how he got the powers. I know, but I don't know if he was truly a vampire. What was that movie called? Renfeld. Oh, man. If you haven't seen that... It was good. It's fun. Like, it's a weird movie, but it's just a fun movie. Like, a, one of those ones that you just watch and you're just like, that was crazy. Some of the scenes were insane. If you like blood raining down, check it out. But anyways, what would you choose? If you're going to get bit, are you going to allow it? If you don't, you die. And then on top of that, what age range would you want to be forever? <laughs> but with that being said, sign up below and let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. We greatly appreciate your guys' support and just hanging out with us, taking the time to, you know, spend your day doing weird sh with footwear. But thank you guys again for everything. We'll catch you guys on the next one. So until then, have a good one.